This is the world's most classical fallopian tube. As you know, the fallopian tube is a connection from the lumen of the uterus called the uh, endometrial cavity to the abdominal cavity. It is a free connection uh, from the outside of the body to the inside of the abdomen. Uh, where it uh, ends near the surface of the ovary, it has these little papillary structures called fimbria. In a, uh, another part of the tube in which the lumen is still basically dilated, it has a mucosa which contains these papillary projections, which are really kind of the same thing that fimbria are composed of as well. When it gets closer to the uterus, it basically loses this uh, papillary configuration and is just a round, flat uh, mucosa. And then where it enters the uterus, it actually looks like it's just a small dilated cystic space within the myometrium or the muscle of the uterus. This is the ampulla portion of the fallopian tube. The ampullary portion of the fallopian tube is the uh, area where fertilization takes place. Uh, like uh, the rest of the Mullerian duct structures, it is a columnar epithelium. It is supported by probably fibroblasts here and a little bit of smooth muscle as well. It is non-stratified. Uh, and even though we mentioned that the fallopian tube has four different areas. The uh, epithelium of the mucosa looks a lot like this. And do you see some cilia here? Could that be perhaps because it wants to transport things like sperm perhaps? Here is some smooth muscle. Here is a little bit redder, perhaps a collagenous uh, connective tissue. And there is a significant amount of smooth muscle surrounding the fallopian tube, no matter what portion you're dealing with. And it'll look exactly like smooth muscle anywhere else. And it'll even look like the uh, collagenous connective tissue, which we see here. So because I am an expert and I don't have to do trichrome stains in my I could do trichrome stains in my mind, we have here some uh, collagenous connective tissue consisting chiefly of fibroblasts, whereas the same type of tissue here, which is not quite as pink, is basically an array of smooth muscle fibers cut in here, perhaps circularly, perhaps in other areas like here, perhaps longitudinally. We have the same type of smooth muscle here in some of these larger blood vessels surrounding the fallopian tube. And as you might guess, last but not least, because the fallopian tubes are truly intraperitoneal, you are allowed to have a fine little layer of mesothelial cells representing visceral peritoneum surrounding the complete outside of it. I don't really think there's anything more that I could say about a fallopian tube that wouldn't be wasting your time. So uh, let's take a quick mental snapshot of the world's nicest uh, ampullary portion of the fallopian tube and move on and I thank you very much.